Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And whoever loves the Father loves the child born of God. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and observe His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is the one who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. In these verses, the Apostle John is addressing the subject of the new birth, being born again, being born of God. And this is one of the most important doctrines in the entire Bible, because as Jesus said earlier, unless one is born of God or born again, he shall not see the kingdom of God. And unless one is born again, he shall not enter the kingdom of God. This rises to the highest level of importance as a truth taught in Scripture. The new birth is when eternal life enters your spiritually dead soul, and you come alive unto God, and the life of God now surges through your soul. It is the new birth that enables you to repent and to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is regeneration that precedes saving faith. It is regeneration that produces saving faith because dead men cannot repent, and spiritually dead men cannot believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the order of salutis, the order of salvation, regeneration precedes justification by faith alone. This is where the eternal purposes of God intersect experientially into the soul of a spiritually dead sinner, and from this comes saving faith. From this comes repentance. From this comes an entirely new life in Jesus Christ. It is this important.